Hey YouTube, it's uh, Gonna Run 13, and uh, I'm gonna post you up a video here on uh, a knife review, something I haven't done in a little while. Um, you know, a lot of the videos I put up, I do want to do a lot of reviews and trying out different pieces of equipment, and this includes knives, which I um, am a big fan of different blades too which you'll see throughout uh, a lot of my videos, especially when I start doing a lot of outdoor videos, you know, getting into some bushcrafting and stuff like that. But, you know, I'll start going over a lot of my blades and uh, what I like to use. So I'm going to uh, do a knife review today on the knife you see in front of you. And this is a fine product by uh, Gerber, Legendary Blades. Um, you know, some of my other videos you've seen before, I've discussed uh, Gerber products before. Um, I do like a lot of Gerber products. I do hate some Gerber products. As far as their knives go, you know, you want to look for some of their better designs. And, uh, you know, I'm a fan of uh, their knives that are actually made in the United States. And this is one of them right here. Now, um, you see they have a, a knife that I think came prior to this, and that was, no, actually it came after, and that's the uh, Gerber Prodigy, which is a smaller version of this. But this is actually called the uh, Gerber MLF-2. And uh, the Gerber MLF-2, the full design of the blade, the whole design length of the blade and everything will go over. But uh, basically, this is designed as a survival knife. Um, this was designed for, you know, basically uh, pilots that may be shot down, uh, you know, helicopter pilots, stuff like that, um, as a survival knife to, um, you know, to use in a survival, you know, survival circumstances after they may have crashed or whatever. Okay. So that's why there are certain options on, on here that are for that. So, you know, it is a good knife to use if you are going to use it for a military application. Um, so to me, this is a good military type knife, a good survival type knife. Um, you know, I've used this for bushcrafting, you know, camp, you know, camp knife, everything. This is, this has turned out to be a pretty excellent knife. I've had this for a little while now. They come in multiple colors. First off, they come in all black. They come in an OD green. And they come in this coyote brown. Um, there are three different models or names that you'll see with this particular knife out there, you know. And uh, uh, one is the infantry knife, or the, and the other is the survival knife, and um, also an ASEC knife. But they're all pretty much the same thing, um, to be honest with you. There's not really much difference in there. So we'll go ahead and. Uh, Remove the blade itself, kind of go over the sheath. The sheath is an excellent sheath for a knife. Very strong, durable. Got all your molly attachments right here. Double stitching, very thick, very good feel to it. Um, you know, very heavy duty knife, uh, knife sheath. Very happy with this. It's got good lock retention. You don't even need the straps for that, but you know, I would recommend using it. It also comes in right here with a built-in sharpener you just insert the knife into that and actually which I'll show you in a little bit show you how that works um, I don't want to spend too much time on the sheath because I don't want just want to do a quick review on this um, but there's a very nice sheath as far as knives go um, overall length on this is under 11 inches and the blade itself is just under 5 inches okay and here's the knife itself comes with a lanyard hole for a lanyard. It's, um, like I said, just under five inch blade. And the actual blade is made of 420 HC stainless steel. It's got a, a black coating on it. It is, um, it's a um, drop point type blade design, which are one of my favorites. This also comes with serrated serrations on the blade. Um, I kind of wish they had a non-serrated version, but this is the only version it comes with because if you think about this, this is, you know, a survival knife and this caters to like pilots being shot down and whatnot where they would use the serrations to help cut themselves out of a fuselage of a aircraft or whatever. Okay. Um, 
This is uh, three quarters or uh, three sixteenths of an inch thick. It's a nice strong blade. Um, you know, I've got it razor sharp. It came pretty sharp out of you know from out of the box. Um, there's some good tests on this knife that show its durability um, on uh, knife destruction tests on YouTube, which I'm sure you can just check out for yourselves. Very good knife. Did very good job on that. Um, this handle right here is actually uh, made of a, like a glass filled uh, nylon with like a rubbery overmold and it actually has um, some holes drilled in here too or some holes and this is for attaching it to the end of a stick to, to fasten the spear um, like I said in the survival situations it has a nice pummel on the back a glass breaker pummel which I have seen used and it uh, is pretty excellent for breaking glass which you could also use this part of it as a hammer for hammering down. Um, like I said, I chose the uh, Coyote Brown, and some of these actually come with an infrared spray on them um, for the you know a military application. Uh, overall, this like I said, this is made in uh, Portland, Oregon, in USA, an actual American-made Gerber. Overall, this knife is very excellent knife for the price. I think I paid somewhere around $63 for this. $65, sorry. Um, like I said, here's that sharpener. You just basically in, insert your knife and pull down. It's one of those um, like triangle fit type of sharpener, so it evenly um, sharpens the edge on both sides of the knife. Um, awesome knife. This has been pretty good for batoning wood, for chopping wood. Um, the grip is very comfortable, very comfortable. Fits really nicely in your hand. It's got a great design, you know, and that's what attracted me to this knife was the design, first off. And like I said, I've had this for a while and it's done really good out in the woods. I will show you an outdoor review testing on this sometime coming up soon. And, uh, you know, my overall opinion on this knife for the price, uh, Gerber nailed it right there. Um, this is a full tang design, even though technically the uh, tang stops right about there. There is a small rubber gap in between here, and that is to protect yourself from when you're cutting through fuselages that you do not have a full connection to a live wire and you electrocute yourself. That is why there is the small um, gap in between there, or for um, when you're pummeling, breaking through something. So it is a full tang knife. Um, very strong, durable. Check out the destruction test. You'll see. This is an excellent knife. Um, I do recommend it to you guys out there. If you would like to, uh, you know, you're thinking about buying it, I do recommend it. And I'll show you my outdoor reviews sometime soon on it. And uh, overall, that's pretty much it on this knife. Like I said, I just kind of wanted to do a quick, uh, quick review because I will follow it up with an outdoor review sometime soon. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. And, uh, so there's another knife review, and I'll have some videos coming up for you shortly, guys. And I will uh, talk to you later. This is Gunner Run 13. Thank you.